Today's discussion is not about a rapper or a singer, but a major video vixen in the hip hop industry. Forget what you heard about Kim K being the booty queen, Buffy the Buddy rocked that title way before, back when video vixens were the real deal. Buffy's fame skyrocketed around 2004 to 2005 and she became an instant sensation. It wasn't long before she was slaying as a video vixen in Tony Yayo's So Seductive and flaunting her curves in top hip hop magazines. As quickly as Buffy rose to the top, she eventually disappeared from hip hop. This left us with so many questions. What made her ditch hip hop? What happened between her and Charlemagne the God? Was there drama with Key Toy and Melissa Ford? Today we'll answer all that and more. So let's get into the video. What up guys, Ali here and welcome to Ali Talks Music. Add me on Instagram at Ali Talks Music as well. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Now let's get into the video. Before becoming a model or fitness guru, Buffy was just Buffy Caruth, a southern belle from Georgia. Born around 1977, Buffy was the third of seven kids. Her dad left early on, making her bond with the rest of the family even stronger. And now get this, unlike her later curvy image, Buffy was incredibly slim as a kid. She wore size 3 jeans and weighed 119 pounds. So she made a meeting with a nutritionist who recommended an appetite stimulant and she began taking the supplements. At 24, Buffy finally began to gain weight. It took a few years, but she eventually got the body she always hoped for. Buffy was always hustling from a young age, whether it was scoring some cash on the sly or working legit jobs like at grocery stores. She even gave stripping a shot, bouncing between clubs before realizing it wasn't her scene. Her modeling career began by accident, and today, it would totally be a privacy violation with legal consequences. Here's what happened. Around 2004, Buffy met a photographer at a club in Baltimore. Because she wanted to surprise her man, she hired the photographer for a swimsuit shoot at her hotel. But without Buffy knowing, the photographer posted the pictures online and sent her the links. That same year, Buffy made a Yahoo group, shared her photos, and boom! she became an instant icon. Within one week, 20,000 people signed up to see her photos and just like that, her career had begun. When Buffy's photo shoot blew up around 2004, G-Unit's DJ Tony Neal, founder of the core DJs worldwide, hit her up to become a model and video vixen. At first, she thought it was a scam and ignored all the emails and calls, but after about five or six messages, she finally responded. Tony then pitched her the idea of starring in a video with 50 Cent and Tony Yayo. At the time, Buffy didn't really know who Tony Yayo was, but she knew 50 and knew this gig could change her career for the better. Plus, a $2,500 paycheck did not hurt either. They emailed me from, on my Yahoo. It was Buffy the Body at Yahoo.com at the time. And they, yeah. so your first gig was the video, but your first big gig was the Tony the Ayo, okay. his first video with G.U. Because you know, he was in and, and out of jail. Right, right, right. Really, honestly, I didn't even know who Tony Ayo was. <laughs> I knew who G Unit was, but I really, <laughs> yeah, but I really, because you know, Tony Ayo wasn't, you had never heard of him really back then because he was in and out of jail. So, she agreed and crushed it in Tony Yeo's single, So Seductive, making her the OG big booty queen of hip hop. In just four months, Buffy appeared in the video and scored features in major magazines like Double XL, King, and Black Man Magazine. I won't lie, I actually owned a couple of these magazines and I bought them simply because Buffy was in them. As she continued to grow in the hip-hop scene, she dated a well-known DJ, DJ K Slay, from 2005 to 2006. Around 2005, she appeared in another video, Oh Yes by Joelle Santana. Her role was smaller than so seductive, and while fans were very pleased about her booty shots, she wasn't so pleased about how they turned out. As Buffy's fame soared, she seized the moment. Around 2005, she launched her own website called BuffyTheBody.com. Now I won't lie, that site was fire. And I'm not speaking from personal experience. Believe me, I'm not. 
Now, by the time Buffy was 28 years old, she appeared in over 60 magazines and articles. Her fabulous behind even scored some awards, like a nomination for Vibe Video Goddess of the Year for So Seductive, a spot on Black Men Magazine's 101 Sexiest Women, and Double XL's Eye Candy of the Year. And the crazy part is, she did all of this without even breaking a sweat. In her own words, I'd be lying if I said it's been a struggle, because it hasn't been. I thank God every single day because I am blessed, I am gifted, and I know if it wasn't for my butt I would not have made all this money. I wouldn't be traveling, I wouldn't have met all these people. First, let's give it up for Buffy the Body. <laughs> Sadly, that year had its highs and lows. Buffy lost her younger sister to cancer, and like many women in the industry, she faced a lot of backlash for being a bad role model. But the haters could not hold her back. Her MySpace DMs were flooded with fans asking for booty tips, flirting with her, and even marriage proposals. Around 2006, Buffy kept her brand growing. She dropped an independent biographical DVD called Larger Than Life, featuring career highlights and appearances by Tony Yayo, Alan Iverson, Jim Jones, Jadakiss, Chopper, and Uncle Luke, to name a few. Buffy even appeared in an ad campaign for Azure Denim and released a calendar that sold like hotcakes. She also appeared in one of her last music videos to date, Can't Stop the Rain, by her then-boyfriend DJ K Slay. In her own words, See, I only done three videos. After the third video, I didn't want to do M no more. I didn't think that I was going to get the same shine that I got in this Tony Yayo video. You know most video girls back home, you got one video that's tagged to you. You know like, every big video girl is one video that everybody remembers them from, and this was my video. So after that video, I was in the Joelle's video. It wasn't a good look. I was in the K-Slay and Shaq and Bun B video. It wasn't really a good look, so I was like, you know what, I don't even need to do videos no more. Buffy then began acting, scoring a small part as Big Booty Judy in the 2006 movie ATL. She was charging between $2,500 and $3,500 just to show up at events. And when it came to hosting parties around the US, she was allegedly making at least $10,000 a night. Buffy the body, what's going on homie? Not only the moment of the microphone. Why you gotta touch my microphone? I love you. According to her, she hosted over 300 to 400 bashes. She was on top of the world. She got breast implants to balance out her look and soon found herself in the fast lane of hip hop. After this, it wasn't long before she found herself in some beef. Now, Buffy considers herself to be a classy lady. She doesn't usually get caught up in the drama. In fact, she's never begun any beefs in her career. But around 2006, she experienced a couple of one-sided incidents. The first one involved another video vixen who was all the rage at the time, Melissa Ford. It all began on the set of a King magazine photo shoot. And let's just say, it was a diva showdown. According to Buffy, this is how the beef began. Um, when we did the fifth anniversary issue for King Magazine, when yeah. all of us was on the cover, yeah. it was like five covers. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, I remember when, that. When, when I got to LA to do the shoot, yeah. she didn't know that I was the fifth girl. So when I got there, her whole attitude changed. She never spoke to me. She was walking around the shoot slamming doors oh, and wow. just acting real ugly. Why? So when all of us sat on the sofa for the group shot, you, ooh, she you got know? up. How she did you all sit on the sofa, man? It was like a long sofa. Oh, okay. It was like extended, three yeah. girls. with one girl laying on the back. Okay. It was once. And she That's got right. up and left because she didn't want me in the shoot. She just... I've never done... That was my first time ever meeting her. Yeah. Never done anything to her. Never said anything back. She was one of the video girls I looked up to when I got in. <laughs> and so for me, I'm like, for her to be intimidated by me, I'm like, come on, Melissa. This, this, this can't... So when the issue came out and they interviewed me for it, I talked about it. Yeah. I'm sure she didn't like it. And then, you know, the people at King Magazine was telling me, come on, let's mend this. Y'all need to shake hands. I'm like, no. This is outrageous. Because she act crazy, so... If, if, if it's gonna be beef, let the beef Buffy. continue. Back then, 
neither Vixen really talked about the beef. In the same interview, Buffy said she wished she could have put Melissa in her place. But she held back because being on King Magazine was a dream come true. According to other rumors, Buffy and Melissa were actually involved in a fight. But Buffy's story seems more legit. Buffy did talk about this more in a couple of interviews, but after a while this whole beef faded away. That is until around 2019, when Regan Gomez, another model from the shoot, retweeted a photo of the cover. The post was supposed to be a low-key flex on her career, but a fan noticed Buffy at the back while the other girls were in the front and center, and fans asked who she was. Regan Gomez then responded on Twitter with the following. Buffy was so sweet, and somebody there was stank as f and jealous of her shine. But you didn't hear that from me. She should have been out front, to be honest. Fans then began to ask which girl was actually jealous of Buffy. While Regan Gomez did not mention Melissa, it was pretty obvious. Melissa Ford then responded with an upside down smiley face. It took 16 years before Melissa finally admitted her wrongdoing in a 2023 interview. I'll be completely honest because this is growth. I was awful. I was terrible. I was like fucking awful to deal with because I did not think that Buffy should be there. That was my, I, that was the way that I was thinking at the time. I didn't think that she had earned enough bones, you know, like I didn't think that she had done enough. The gatekeeper. To, I was gatekeeping. And hating. Maybe a little bit of hating. <laughs> no, one a little bit. Gatekeeping little might be lot. hating. Okay, well, let's, let's, what? Might be Accountability. Yeah, gatekeeping can be I'm, I'm good doing it. All right. Okay. Um, and at the time, I couldn't see it that way. Um, so Do you think anyone else there picked up on this oh, feeling? everybody knew I was a cunt. Like, a, that was a little tiny regret. She didn't deserve the way that I treated her. And in hindsight, looking back at it, she absolutely deserved to be there, you know? And mm -hmm. I have always kind of wanted to apologize to her. Um, Here you go. You know, so. Here's your opportunity. Yeah. All right, so can we bring no, but like, I, I, like I literally, I wanted to, apo I wanted to apologize Mel. to her in person. No. You know, so just the, Buffy, if no in person, Buffy, if you're out there watching or have a friend that's watching, we would like to do this apology in person if that ass is still the same. Now let's go back to 2006 for a bit. The next beef we're gonna talk about happened live and was a lot more intense, and you guessed it, this one involves Charlemagne. Now at this point in his career, Charlemagne had a reputation for being antagonistic towards his guests. He would say things knowing it would piss his guests off. And this time Buffy was caught in the crosshairs. Right from the beginning of the interview, Charlemagne was cold, pushy, and in your face. He kept bugging her about being called Buffy the body, even though she said just Buffy was cool. Then, he hinted that she was only successful because of her body, like she was not worth any more. He asked her what else she was doing besides flaunting her body, and she tried to say she was getting into movies and stuff, but he kept talking over her. He even said that his mouth would make him more famous than her butt would. Now it does get wilder. The interview swung between a boy teases girl because he likes her vibe and straight up hostility. Charlemagne got mad that she did not look the same as her music videos and photos and even asked Buffy when last she went to the gym. Buffy then fired back and taunted Charlemagne, asking him why he was not so successful. Building right now one of the best booties in the business. Buffy the body. <laughs> hey. Hey, what's up? How are you, Buffy? Good. Greetings. What's happening? Nothing. Chilling. Do you, do you like being called Buffy the body? Or you like this being called Buffy? Buffy. Do you, want, you don't want to be, you just like Buffy, right? You, you don't want to be known for more than just your body, right? Just Buffy. Eventually, you know what I mean? Buffy. Just Buffy? Yeah. Okay. Did you see the article in King Magazine when they, they pitted you against um, a Katoya? Is that, that her name? That was not King. That was Double XL. Well, Double XL Eye Candy. See, candy. see? You don't even know what well, you're Well, different. Uh -oh. They gave you a bad review uh -oh. in the magazine. That's what they that's did. That's okay. Bad review. The money's still coming in. That ain't hey, nothing. Hey, that's what that's I'm publicity. talking about. <laughs> that's, that's good. It's good for me. I don't care. Put me in the magazine and say whatever. It's well, still good. How long good. is the money going to keep rolling? And no, Buffy. I mean, you know. Baby, you're, it's, see, you, you know, got to keep it rolling. For how long? You got no, to keep it eventually, forever. age is going to catch up. Age ain't got nothing to do with that. What they got to do with the money rolling in, though? Okay. Because that's what you're getting paid for right now. You want to learn how to do that. So what else are you doing? So what do you consider yourself? You consider yourself a, a very um, nice person. A video 
model, yep. video chick, yeah. or video hoe? A video girl. So video chick. I can say that. You know, Buffy is pretty classy in the videos, though. I mean, I mean she, I've only seen her in one. That was I mean, 28. She's so not, but, I mean, so what you thought about it? I thought it was cool. You know, yeah, she was classy. Nicole, so you, you tell know? me what I, just by looking at that video, what was I classified as? I'll say a video model, because you okay. had a little acting role in it, you know, you was giving Tony Yale the diamonds, you know, you wasn't, you, you know, you wasn't just butt naked, you know, grinding on him, so I'll say... Now, I could have did those kind of videos, but I chose not to. Would you have gotten more money if you had did those kind of videos? If money wouldn't even, I don't even care about the money, I wouldn't have did it, period. Now, I personally think that the last two incidents really pushed Buffy to explore new career paths. Around 2007, she dropped the DVD, Buffy the Body, In Your Dreams, the making of the 2007 calendar. She also went on the Tara Banks show to talk about her body and transformation, and even reassured fans that her booty was real. She even began a health and fitness website called Bodynomics, which has been a part of her success. Since then, she's been super busy. Around 2008, she dropped an ebook called Get Your Mind Right, a step-by-step -step look at the modeling career of Buffy the Body. She also turned down $750 to be in Little Wayne's lollipop video. According to her, she would only appear in the video if Little Wayne made sure that she was the only woman in the video. But Little Wayne said no, and that was that. Now when Buffy spoke about why she left the industry, she said the following. I just decided to do something that I was interested in because I was getting older and my body started changing. I was older than most of the models in that industry. There's only a few things you can do to stay relevant. Either try to get on a reality show and make a complete mockery of yourself. You only become that it girl when you act a fool and I didn't want to do that. Buffy then fully committed herself to writing and fitness. She did her research, talked to fitness trainers, and began promoting fitness for curvy women. Around 2009, she published her autobiography, Vixen Icon. Around 2012, she experienced major life changes. She lost her mother to cancer and became a certified personal trainer. Around 2013, she published Why Flat Butts Stay Flat. And around 2015, she married John Lewis, and they now live together in South Carolina without any children. Today, Buffy's a thriving business owner, Bodynomics.com transformed into Brick Built, a clothing and apparel store selling everything from shower curtains to gym clothes, travel bags, and iron-on patches. Despite what Charlemagne said, Buffy used her body to build a business, and she proved that sometimes all a person needs is a chance. Um certain type of stretches and certain type of putting your body in certain positions are just not for everyone so if you're feeling any type of pain figure out why you're feeling pain maybe you're doing it the wrong way or maybe you're doing it too fast so always slow down with stretching just slow down you're not in a hurry this is not a race you're trying to elongate your muscles so just take it easy and when you first feel a stretch in your muscles Hold for like 30 seconds. Hold. And then when you've held it for 30 seconds, then you can stretch a little further till you feel another little stretch and hold it for 30 seconds. You lean forward. And the whole time, remember to draw in the region below your belly button. You want to pull it in, suck it in because it helps activate the muscles in your core when you draw this in that's it for me it's your boy ali what happened to buffy the body in your opinion let me know down below also add me on instagram at ali talks music till next time peace Perfect.